Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of D4 DJ First Mix. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I am sad. I don't want this to end. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because in the end, it's going to be um, peaky peaky going against. Uh, I'm about to say how happy world again. Happy around. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to finally update this opening and officially show those two again. Maybe. I don't know. Because it would make the most sense because this is the last episode of the show. Um, until we at least get a season two, which hopefully is this year as well. Maybe fall. It's up to them. Coco, come home, please. Please come home. My mermaid girls, please come home. Please. <laughs> That's all I want. Just come home. Please. I'm waiting until the final day when we get all these tickets. And then I'm going out. So please. Please come home, Kyoko. I want your initial four stars so bad. I wanted that Monster Hunter card, too. No, they didn't do it. But I don't have enough. I'm close to 6,000 gems, but I want to save either for not only her birthday, but also Mermaid's birthday, girls. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I just want her to come home. Oh, well, damn. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be like the last round. No, Maho, don't be upset. <laughs> yeah, listen to Ray. Be positive. Mm hmm. More now than later. You know what? Don't half ass it. Try your best, both of you. Go all in, and you know, whoever wins, wins. Well, you could go to race. Okay. And, and how big is Rinku's house? Well, I mean, not as big as Ray. <laughs> ah. Very yellow. I love it. <laughs> Which I think is her, um, her color initial color because oh my god oh hope that Rinku's birthday card has something to do with seashells because it's her aesthetic 
when you instantly think of seashells, you think of her. So do something around that. <laughs> I am so nervous for both these groups. Like, anyone could win. <laughs> oh, God. I'm <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a quick little prayer that little Kalili the only band who has not made an appearance in this show makes some appearance. But it's okay if they don't. Well, damn. Yeah, of course. But you're still nervous. <laughs> and it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's adorable. so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm. I'm guessing this is the song that came in the game when I logged it an hour ago.
to be their best song ever like oh <laughs> it was so good Jesus Christ like and they use this stuff for the last week oh god I just want that background music so bad because that was so good hopefully like someone rips that and just makes like an instrumental version of that because that shit is good. I really like it. Oh my god. Just the chills I'm getting. <laughs> I can't choose who I want to win. This is hard. Both songs are good. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. 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 I want both to win, but only one can win. Ugh. So, they haven't even announced it yet. Just announce it. Like, oh, you <laughs> think suspense? Oh. Of course they would. Oh. So then basically something that, like, what, Mermaid and Rondo would be in in, like, the next big tournament? team and you're still good even though you didn't win you are still a good team and a unit no oh. <laughs> don't make me cry oh. Mooney <laughs> exactly <laughs> Baby. 
I mean, it makes the most sense since this first season was about all three of these units. <laughs> change though it's ooh
Okay, so final thoughts in season one. This was really good. I mean, oh, I gotta say the way that this ended, it is up there with how I feel in love, Bandity season one's ending and how hella emotional I was um, during that time when I was watching it as a reaction series and stuff because of certain things that I can't talk about with that show and the connection that I have with it. Um, but I really enjoyed this. I loved the story, the girls, even though not all of the girls were featured in this show. It was literally everyone except Lyrical Lily, which does suck. Lyrical Lily is the only one who hasn't shown up, but I think they're doing that chibi series that they gave Bandari. Oh, there you are! Oh, there you go! There you go! Oh, okay. That makes sense. They're the one of those two characters, and I think it's the guy who also works with Nana Mizuki's character, and then one of the three there. They, that's the D four D five story. Oh shoot! Oh, my God. That makes so much sense because they haven't officially started it, and it makes me want to like after I'm done watching the other two shows that I gotta watch, um, go into the game and check to see if they're gonna update it because the last time I checked. And I think it was for me reading the the New Year's uh anniversary, not the New Year's anniversary, the New Year's event for um Happy Around. And I still think it still said uh, coming soon. I'm not 100% sure. I just got to go back. But they finally showed everybody. Everybody got shown in this final episode. Even though it was in credits and yes, you got to see both Rondo and Mermaid in the show, but Lyrical Lily finally made a freaking appearance because you're sitting here and you're expecting, okay, two out of the final three people, our final three units, weren't shown, and you're expecting the last episode to officially show them in the episode. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. They ain't gonna do it. They did it very similar to um, the original Idol Master series, especially when that had a movie, and how they just cheekily just showed Rain. And I, like, freaking freaked out because I was like, oh, my God, because they're connecting it all together. But because of the fact is Lyrical Lily was, I think at the time, like, let's, let's go back to what, like, last year? Yes, yeah, sometime last, like, mm, between, uh, not, mm, not 2020, more 2019, when the silhouettes of all the girls were being shown, everybody was shown except lyrical lily lyrical lily was the only group they came like sort of they were introduced sort of like later on 
um, because the first five units were already shown, and Lyrical Lily was the only one. And so when Lyrical Lily finally showed up uh, way before the game got released, I was thinking, like, oh, they're probably going to do it like how they did Morphonica and Roz for Benzity, and they're not going to come until the anniversary. But no, they were smart, and they did it, and they had it on release, and that was good. I have to applaud them for that. But... This was a good show. I loved the way that they had the final episode, the way it ended. Of course, you kind of knew that Peaky Peaky was going to win. It was very obvious, even though I wanted Happy Around to win because it was really, they're the POV of the show that we're seeing since episode one. It would have made most sense. But it's very, it's very similar to like Love Live Sunshine, you know, how like in the original Love Live um Muse always won stuff and then the first season of Sunshine Aqua's lost or no yeah Aqua's lost and they said they wanted to change that zero into a different number I think a hundred I don't remember it's been a while since I watched season one of um Sunshine and the whole story of Sunshine is about loss and it's very similar for Happy Round because, yes, they lost in that first round against Peaky Peaky, but it's going to make them into a stronger unit to the point that they can go to Sunset Stage next year when we get Season 2 and possibly win the competition and be another, you know, unit that represents their school so that they can go out and go against bigger units like Rondo, like Mermaid, heck, maybe even Lyrical Lily, even though... Because like, it makes you wonder if, like, going into Season 2 and Season 3, if they're going to have, like, a tournament arc where it's all the different schools. This could be high schools and colleges because both Rondo and Mermaid are the two adult college students um, who is in this circle. So that would make the most sense. But, I mean, they could literally do anything. I do feel like what they have also should have done with this finale and the last few minutes of this episode, not only showing Nana Mizuki and Rochelle's characters again, they should have at least had the other two characters who are going to be um, in the unit with one with Nana Mizuki's character and one with, with uh, I can't speak, with Rochelle's character and who they're also voiced by because they haven't done that yet. So something tells me that's going to possibly come out in season two. Same thing with these four old guys. They're, they have something to do with D4FS. So a lot of things are going to happen. I'm guessing they're going to also use the story from the game introducing into season two. They could literally do anything, but since this show is officially now over because season one is now done, it, it's sad. I really will miss this show. Hell, I'm happy that it's on YouTube because I get to rewatch it whenever I want to. Plus, to the fact is, I think Funimation is also going to probably release it on Blu-ray just as much as, um, I think it's Santai, I believe that company name is, who did the uh, the thing from Bendity has... I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. But this was a really good ending. I in freaking enjoyed it so much. Like, it ain't make me cry like season one of Banzity did and, and stuff. But it made me almost tear up. And just, oh, it was good. And I honestly cannot wait to see what they're going to do next for these girls for season two. Um, I don't know if I will possibly watch the um, D4DJ Chibi show. Maybe I will. If I do, I'll continue it in this playlist and leaning up until season two or if I don't it, it is what it is if I do I might just wait until the entire show comes out and then just have it in like one big video instead of going like week after week after week I mean that's just my opinion but other than that guys that is my reaction review towards season one of D4 DJ first mix if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys whenever the heck the chippy series for D4 DJ starts and then maybe my little prediction I feel like season two might be coming out fall this year or sometime next year but whenever season two comes that is when you guys will see me but until then i will see you guys all next time bye